to make the sauce you'll need a blender or a food processor so to my food processor i'm going to be adding in some chili so i'm going to remove the green stem and i'm using three african bird's eye chili i'm going to add the chilies in my processor next i'm going to cut one red pepper in half remove the core just like that Next, chop into large strips just like that. Transfer to my food processor. Pick one onion and cut into large wedges since I'm using a food processor. Also place the onions in the food processor. I'll be adding in four cloves of garlic and a bunch of coriander. I'm going to chop in half, just like that. Grate in some lemon zest into the food processor. Make sure to get the green part, not the white part, because your chicken will turn out bitter so i'll need about a teaspoon of lemon zest next i'm going to squeeze in juice of half a lemon add in some salt and paprika and about a quarter cup of cooking oil now it's time to blend my vegetables to make my pili pili sauce. If you have smoked paprika, you can substitute with the regular paprika and add some nice smokiness to your chicken. So I'm going to pick my lid and secure. Then I'm going to blend. So I'm going to blend until all the ingredients are fine. Wow, just look at my peri peri sauce. It's looking so good. 